Welcome to the National Corvette Museum. The Mutual of Omaha AHA Moment Tour is in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Let's go! The Corvette Museum is the only museum that is dedicated to a single sports car. So we decided to check it out. Corvette actually had to change their emblem at the last minute. They originally had an American flag on their emblem, but they had to change it because the U.S. government wouldn't allow them to use the American flag. So that's why the emblem is like that. Zora was the godfather of the Corvette. He was the one that said that it needed more horsepower, and um, he loved this car so much that um, he said that if they built a museum, that he would, I mean, he'd be buried here. So him and his uh, wife or their uh, urns are here in the museum. Staff says that creepy stuff happens in the museum and they blame it on them. We host a lot of events here in the evenings and sometimes we have the museum closed and lights are off. And there's been, it's been known that lights will flicker on and off in the back and you hear a weird noise and nobody's there. So we blame it on Zora for being buried in the museum. The most popular exhibit at the Corvette Museum right now is the Great Eight. So in February of this year, the Corvette Sky Dome. The floor collapsed due to a sinkhole. There's a lot of sinkholes in Kentucky because of all the limestone. The Corvettes that were damaged though, they range from a 1960s model to the one millionth Corvette made. However, the 1983 model, because it was a good year, the year I was born, was the only one of its kind to survive. I think it was quite a shock to everybody. Couldn't have fell in a women's bathroom or nothing. Had to have more of the cool Corvettes for sitting. Outside the museum, we ran into Stephen A. Daly, a 2003 Corvette owner, who actually drove his own Corvette to the museum. I've been in love with Corvettes since I was 12 years old. I love it all. I love the the, the power, the stopping, the speed. Uh, we came down here running between 75 miles an hour, air conditioning on, got 30.6 miles a gallon. To see the Corvettes traveling through town, when they show up, you know that you're in a very special place. He just got himself a new Corvette. What do they call this place again? The, they call this place the nursery. All the new Corvette owners can come get their new cars and they make a really special big deal out of it. Everybody's clapping and it's pretty cool. While we were there, the Corvette Museum was actually raffling off a green Corvette. Gary, Brett, and I decided we'd try our luck, so we entered the raffle. It's got me written all over it. If I win the Corvette, I'm going to take the money and I'm going to buy a Corvette. If I win the Corvette, I'm going to drive it really fast. Thanks to everyone at the Corvette Museum for showing us around for all your kindness, hospitality. Thanks to the residents of Bowling Green who came out and shared their aha moments. I don't know what else we're going to say. That sounds good. Right? Let's go on. Yeah, let's go on.